Hello pet parents, Robert Semro back here at Blog Post 2017 in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I have to say, my next guest is someone I really appreciate all of the work he's done. And he's really been one of those trailblazers in not only what we like to do, but really just for the industry and raising awareness. So I'm happy to have with me Ken Bell. Ken, Thanks. I just, I, you know, you really have done some things that are not only special, but have just reached so many people. When you started, was that your intent or did it just happen? Yeah, I, I mean, my website, which is thedogfiles.com, was our motto is showing the world that dogs deserve our love, care, and respect. I figured out pretty early on that it was educating people. People need to be educated. People need to understand the different aspects. They don't understand. They don't understand about puppy mills. They don't always understand about animal welfare. They don't always understand about adopting a dog, you know, and, and stuff like that. So that's what I quickly got into, which is, and most of it was doing it through video, making videos and stuff about, about uh, you know, just letting people know. It's what it is. It's just ignorance and people just are busy. Sure. And uh, they, need, they need to learn these things. They don't understand it. So that's what I do. Well, and the other thing, too, is the way that you've done it in the medium that you've done it, it's so expressive. And it, it captures the story in a way that sometimes words alone don't. Mm. Have Is there a way that you like to approach it? Now, I know your documentaries yeah. certainly well, take Well, I that. mean, listen, you're filming dogs. You're filming high def close-ups of dogs it's pretty easy to get an emotion out of that you know um, but it's emotion it's 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 grabbing onto the emotions I mean that's what storytelling is really about especially nowadays everything's emotion maybe it wasn't 30 years ago with documentaries and it was just like facts you know really dry facts but now it's emotion now it's given your opinion you know I mean I'm not I'm not making it when I make a documentary about dogs I'm not acting like I don't have feelings for animals of course I do you know that they're coming into it so that's okay in my opinion you know right. so so to me it's just it's it's rapid in emotion and deliver a, a tale try not get too dreary because people don't want to watch an hour of dog suffering you know I, I if you watch my stuff you'll see I have great like great happy stuff and then I hit like on puppy mills for a minute or two and I pull out because I don't want people to not learn and listen and watch right. because I don't want them to be too sad. And you can get sad really fast with this stuff with how animals well, can be treated. So, well, okay, you know. Because it's so emotion-based. Yes. You know, I, I think the other thing, too, for me is you have done a variety of things. You, you're not, you know, one story over and over and over. What guides your decision-making as you go through that I, process? I'm, I'm, I'm just looking for interesting stories about dogs. Uh, one of our my biggest first one was Hero Dogs 911, which was like a seven-minute video showing FEMA photographs, they're, they're government owned photographs, which means the people own them. And I found photos from 9-11 of the dogs. And then I did a little, uh, not a voiceover, but I did, uh, I, I wrote a little script and I had the, the lines on, uh, on the actual frames, right. you could see the lines, and it was really and picked the right music. Uh, yeah. and it was really emotional, and from that we made uh, uh, the hour documentary here at Dogs 9/11, which was an Animal Planet, you know, and that was cool. And, and so many people came up to me and said, you know, I didn't know all this stuff. I didn't know, and I have had, I've had a lot of school teachers. I remember one in Argentina and one in Ukraine both contact me and say, I play your videos for the kids so they can understand. I had one called Pit Proud about the problems, you know, the, the problems with pit bulls are actually humans. Oh, absolutely. You know, and, 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 you know, so again, it's trying to show people, you know, that maybe your preconceptions are wrong, you know, maybe you should reevaluate. And, and, you know, because of a um, few years ago, uh, Blog Paws played uh, Hero Dogs 9-11 at lunch. And they're awesome. They're like, they're like family. And they, they, they were just, they didn't have to do that. They, they didn't have to do that. There was nothing, you know, they just, I just said, hey, check this out and tell me what you think. And they're like, let's play it. And ASPCA saw it. And so they contacted me and said, you know, we want to do a documentary about a real rehabilitation center that we're doing, working with dogs that need a little more work before they can be adopted because they're very fearful. They come from uh, hoarding cases or, or puppy mills and they don't have a lot of human contact. So we want to bring you in to do a documentary on that. And so, it was a few years of work, but we did Second Chance Dogs, and that's on Netflix Which is right great. now. It's Which on, is really thanks. wonderful. Thanks, and it's on Netflix. And you know what? It's a if you watch it, I mean, it's happy tears, but it's a happy ending. Right. You know, it's a it's a good ending. You it know? is. Well, and it's it, 
I, it's got that emotional curve that we all talk about and we're all mm. in search for. I, I think the other thing about it too though is there's also more acceptance and more awareness. You know, you're talking about mm. Netflix. Yeah. You know, the avenues to get <clears throat> things out that we have now that we didn't have a decade and a half or two mm. decades ago. How has that changed what you do? Well, I mean, you know, Netflix came in and they kind of, there's always like that HBO documentary, but it was always like lofty, you know? Right. And then Netflix came out and they kind of made them for the common folk, you know? Like just documentaries, learn something. Everything, you know, we don't want reality TV, which is shockingly fake. Yeah. You know, and we don't always want to watch a fiction all the time like show me something going on in the world and great uh, documentaries like Blackfish really opened it up and then CNN did CNN films and they started playing that all the time and so it's really opened up Netflix is still the monolithic mystery I mean even for us we, we brought in a, gr uh, a company in New York City who who has connections with them you don't talk to Netflix you right. hire someone that knows them that talks to them and uh, and they love the documentary and uh, you know, when they hired me, they said, we'd like to get it on Animal Planet, and we'd like to, you know, iTunes or Netflix or whatever. And I was like, Netflix, I think is the real, to me, was the real, like, that's it, Netflix. Because the idea, I mean, it, obviously Netflix isn't for free, but it feels like it's for free, because right. you don't remember paying every month. So it was really cool to, to actually get it on there. And, and so it actually played on Animal Planet, and then uh, uh, about eight months later, it was on Netflix. And, uh, you know, that's just awesome. And, you know, going on Twitter and seeing the people write up, you know, just search on Second Chance Dogs, people are watching it today, you know. It's oh, kind absolutely. of amazing, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, and I, I think that's also the beauty of what you've done is it stands the test of time. It mm. will be here for many, many years and be watched and watched. And, and that's the thing even we've experienced. Mm. We put up something today and then we kind of move mm. on. You know, where yeah, is, yeah, we were talking yeah. off cameras, like, yeah. you know, you're looking at, okay, what am I doing next? And then occasionally you kind of look back and go, oh, wow, that's jumped up, you know, 30, yeah. 40,000. It's evergreen, folks, right? Go, that's wow. the term, evergreen. Evergreen, right? yeah. Yeah, and it's so, evergreen content, especially the long form seems to have like an evergreen thing to it, you know. Sometimes I think, so I think especially nowadays, I mean, I know people still like the short videos and, you know, I know on Instagram really short, but I think people want to see a little bit more too once in a while. So I think mixing yeah. it up is kind of nice. Well, I love it. So being at a conference like this, what does that allow you to do? I get to meet all the brands here and talk to all the people and uh, talk about what everyone's doing. I mean, it's like a family here at this point. I know so many people. Uh, a lot of what I do is just coming to see everyone again and see what's everyone working on and, 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 and and get get a connection again with the people that you're talking to on Facebook and, and on Instagram and on the phone and it kind of gets everything going again you know what I mean so it's cool to do all that and to see everyone uh, but it's always great to see the brands or to take a class or try and learn something that you didn't know before you know and uh, you know so it's just kind of an all-around nice thing coming and it's always fun it always feels good my dog's here he's in the play I, I got to rub his yeah. belly that's right all you out there you you know yeah, that Remy. dog. Yeah. So now I want to make sure that the folks know where they can follow what you're doing, your new projects, your ongoing sure. projects, the things that you share. You really have a lot of information that you're putting out there. So let's yeah. Sure um, well, it's thedogfiles.com. Twitter's at dogfiles. Uh, Facebook is facebook.com/dogfiles, uh, and that's where I usually will announce what I'm working on. I'm trying to figure out what my next long form documentary is. It takes a little more time. Because uh, it's a big, uh, you know, when you do it, it's uh, a second chance. Dogs was four years of my life, uh, which was a really long time, four years. And so, you know, so it's not like I'm going to do a short and I'm going to have it done in two weeks, you know. Right. So I, I'm trying to figure that out right now. And um, hopefully I'll know something in the next few months because I'm, I'm itching to get going on another big one. Well, good. You know, I'd like to. I'd like to have multiple ones. We're going. looking forward to watching it. And so you know, it's enjoyable done. doing the dog stuff too. You know, yeah. it's. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, there's something about it. Humans, uh, human stuff is great, but uh, having that added thing with the dogs makes it kind of special to me. It does. You know? It does, yeah. No, I, I totally get that. Well, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Oh, thank Folks, you. go check it out again, thedogfiles.com. You are going to be blown away with the great stories and information that are there. Ken, I just want to say thank you again. Oh, thanks this for really having me. Thank pleasure. you very much. It's always man. good to see you. All right. All right, take care, my friend.